Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm doing a rather unusual job for me today. I'm usually polishing boats or cars or motorcycles. Today I'm polishing a front door. So um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. I've been working on it for just a little bit. The owners actually did a little bit of work um, and got some shine out of it. I'm actually working a little bit differently. Um, I'm currently doing an acid wash on the door to remove all the gunk from years and years and years of oxidation and dirt and that kind of thing on this copper overlay on this front door. It's beautiful. Check this out. So here's the door. Uh, when I got here, they had tried messing with it with well, a little bit of Brasso. And this was what it looked like when I got here. Just still dull, but... A little bit had come out this door I've been working on for a little bit now I'm actually doing the acid wash to remove all that nasty gunk from it uh, before I polish everything and you can see just the acid and so this is what I'm using is and sorry forgive me I don't have the label uh, yet because this is a 2021 product and uh, what I'm using is uh, I forgot my respirator at home. You always want to use a respirator when you're dealing with acid. Today I'm just using this face mask and some sunglasses because I forgot my clears as well. I am using rubber gloves. Heavily recommend that uh, when you're dealing with acid. This is a sulfuric acid blend. It works amazing on, well, it's, it's going to be the Marine Series hull brightener. And the benefit to that is on boats, it's going to remove that nasty yellowing, uh, the water lines, um, it'll remove fish guts and blood from inside the gel coat. It does a fantastic job of that. It also removes rust stains from your stainless steel or whatever you have on the boat. So it's the hull brightener for the new, or it's the new hull brightener for the Marine series for 2021. But it is a sulfuric acid blend, which is great for prepping bare metal for polishing. It'll actually speed up, it'll rapidly oxidize it on purpose so that it'll break down all the dirt and crap and oxidation that's on top. It'll make it look oxidized, but it'll really be a lot easier if you use the acid prior to polishing to actually get a nice finish on the uh, metal. So just doing an acid wash on that door, trying to get it to look as good as possible. I have sprayed it down. Um, kind of letting it do its thing. I'm about to spray it again and wipe it again But before I get too involved in this I wanted to show you kind of a before I took some pictures um, and I this these people have been uh, Clients of mine for around 12 years and uh, I've always seen this door because I actually have to well so I detail the cars over there on that side of the garage and I always come over here because this is the uh, filtration system so they're on a well and this hose bib is through their filtration system where uh, I get cleaner water to do my rinseless washes so I come over here from there because you can see probably on the bottom on the ground right there's a hose so right there is a hose bib but that is not not filtered so I don't use that that water to wash but every time I come over here to get water, I always notice all the stuff on the door and it looks amazing. It's gonna look really amazing when I'm done. So anyway, working on this, I'm going to be polishing this with the brand new uh, 2021 One System Polishes, which are uh, Smart Cut and Smart Finish. Uh, and they use our custom tempered abrasives. And I'll have more info about those polishes soon, but that's what I'm using. Uh, they do double as fantastic metal polishes, a really nice cutting polish, uh, and then a finishing polish that should make this shine like a copper penny. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back to acid washing and try to get as much of this gunk off as I can prior to polishing, but that's where we're at and I'm getting back to work. All right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls so i'm still acid washing this thing but you can see that i can't even breathe over there so just still working on acid washing this thing to get all the gunk and oxidation and there's absolutely something on it and you can see it i'm gonna try to cover my face and come in whatever that is 
is some kind of clear protectant. Well, it was. So, I'm still working it out, but this is where we're at so far. So, what I have done, I'm gonna show you all my secrets. So I used the uh, hole brightener, for the 2021 hole brightener I mentioned already, but I'm also using my uh, gas power powered pressure washer to knock off all of the bulk. You guys know how I'm all about knocking off the bulk before I go into any kind of real detailing. But um, so it's pretty standard procedure. A good acid wash uh, removes oxidation. It does oxidize, but it removes the dirt in the pores um, and that kind of thing. And so we're stripping off what's here and cleaning it at the same time. And then after that, we're gonna go into polishing. I've got all my gear right here and my lovely wife. Um, She's my assistant today. Um, so, nothing fancy. Just a little pressure washer, gas powered job, knocking it off. So, um, I'm gonna get back to work. Okay, we're making some progress. I got some more acid just sitting, trying to get this, whatever's on there off. And the rest of this black nastiness. So, I'm going to let it sit for a minute and then uh, hit it again with the pressure washer until all that black is gone, is the plan. But you guys saw it at the beginning, it was hardly copper looking and now it looks awesome. Still not polished, very dull, but uh, it will look amazing like a new penny very soon. All right guys, this is the end of the first day. We're gonna call it quits for now because I had to order a special coating for this thing. Um, we're going to uh, continue this in a couple of days uh, because I want to make sure that no oxidation happens before we put the coating on. And let me just show you, this is where we're at right now. I just did a little bit of polishing on this section and it's looking amazing. All that is that you're seeing, this gloss was created by the brand new Smart Cut for the One system that'll be released March 1st, 2021. But we did uh, acid wash basically on the door, doors, and then now it's time to polish them all up. Uh, I've got a little bit of stuff left up here that I don't like, so I'm going to probably try to get a lot of this out before we commit to just polishing and coating it, but we shall see. That looks great. I'm really happy with how it's turning out, but got a whole lot more work left to go before it's done, so... That it, it looks like the light is just that's awesome. It looks amazing. All right, guys, we will be back for day two of this polishing a copper door extravaganza. All right, we're back for day two. I all I've really done today is try to use some acetone to remove just the final little bit that's left of whatever the product was they sealed the copper with before um it did not work so i'm gonna have to just polish it out which is not a problem just a little extra work uh and then i went ahead and masked the seal for the door so i'll show you so just getting started just got my crap out here and so i just taped up that door so that i don't get polishing residue everywhere but i'm gonna go ahead and start knocking that top area out with the, the brand new smart cut uh, which both the brand new one system polishes smart cut and smart finish they double as fantastic metal polishes the cut obviously will dig deep and the finish will shine her up like crazy that right there was a test spot I did with just the cut I haven't even polished it yet uh, and then we're going to use a specific to metal coating that I've not used but the owner 
uh, found. So this is what we're going to be using on the actual metal to seal it uh, or coat it, if you will, after we're done. Uh, that product is specific to metal. Uh, Super 7 uh, with Triple Tech uh, would probably work really well, but we wanted something specific to metal uh, to basic, basically make sure that this thing looks as good as it can for as long as it can without having to be polished again. So uh, the owner actually looked up the artist and apparently he's big in the copper world. So uh, this was a pretty extravagant piece. Looks very beautiful. All right, I'm going to go ahead and literally just use some of the new smart uh, cut and start knocking out that top corner. We'll be back when I've got some more done. I don't want you out of the way. I want everyone to see that you helped me. <laughs> All right, so we're polishing on this door. I compounded the whole thing with the brand new smart cut for the one system. That'll be released March 1st, 2021. Uh, I do... I am going to uh, finish everything. Well, she started finishing it with uh, the new smart finish, but you can't really tell because we haven't wiped off all the residue. Um, I'm still compounding this side. I've done this section here, basically from here to here. Still got to do all of this around the handle and the lower portion, but that one's coming along nicely. Super stoked for how this is going to turn out. All right, back to work. All right, guys, it's been a long, hard couple days working on this copper door. It is beautiful. I am thrilled to death. It just so happens that the house color accents the, or the copper accents the house color, and, and the contrast is awesome. It looks amazing. Um, I've never had to polish copper before, and maybe a couple different times uh, as far as maybe doing some demonstrations on some pennies or whatever but i've never had a project this big that i had to polish that was copper so i've done tons of bare aluminum tons of stainless steel and other random uh metals but never copper but it turned out amazing and i was able to use our brand new smart cut and smart finish to get these results i'm over the moon with just i'm happy about how it turned out i'm very thrilled to death the owners are thrilled but uh let me let you see it looks absolutely amazing i mean it just it looks freaking awesome so this was a this house was built in 1994. Uh, the gentleman there that signed it uh, did this piece. It's just a copper overlay on top of wood doors. And uh, there was a clear coat of some sort that was applied to preserve this piece. And, well, it got patina over patina over patina. And it just, it just was not looking good it was really dark i'll leave a picture hope maybe i have a picture of how it was before she touched it with the brasso or i'll have uh because you know the customer started trying to polish it with brasso and got some decent results but not this kind of results she got copper pennies all over her front door so the process was i had to acid wash with the hull brightener that i'll be releasing in the marine series um, it is a sulfuric acid blend. It works amazing, especially when you dilute it. Now, it's heavy duty stuff. You have to dilute it to make it work, but the directions on the bottle and the video that I'll shoot on that specific product will give you all the information about it. Uh, so as far as the acid wash that was done with our hull brightener that's going into the Marine series um, for 2021, and then I compounded with the new smart cut that'll be going into the one system. Uh, the smart cut and smart finish polishes, they work on gel coat, paint, clear coat, uh, and they work on metal, obviously. Uh, so it's kind of where we're at. That's the finished product there. Uh, we also put on that clear coat that I mentioned. 
I did a acetone wipe down on everything three different times to remove all the residue and the oxidation that was still present. And then after that, I applied the clear coat as the direction said. I have never used that product before. However, it seems like it did a great job. It says that it'll self level. It definitely looks, it doesn't look like there's all kinds of high spots all over the place. It's uh, supposed to be dried uh, between 30 and 60 minutes. So that's that. And it looks awesome. All right, guys, so you've seen all the work I've done. If you've got any questions or comments or anything I can help you with, leave a comment down below or my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. Um, if you've got literally any questions about detailing, I'd be more than happy to help you in your detailing endeavors. You gotta use the number or I can't help. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes and things like this, things that I do every day as a pro detailer. Uh, this is an unusual product or project, but I definitely was really excited when I was presented with it because it's something I'd never done before and I'm really happy at how it turned out and I know the owner is too. So thank you guys for watching and listening to me babble. Have a wonderful day.